Miss Mixed Media Girl here. So I got one of the Arteza Pouring Acrylic Sets. Now these are brand new that they're offering this. I had the, the pre-mixed pouring paints from Arteza before, but this is actually a whole kit. Great for new people, it says. I have not opened it yet, but it has quite the variety of things in here. So first it has a little tips and tricks little guide here that's exciting it has 14 colors and even has two colors of glitter it's got gold and silver chunky which is awesome it has two wood pieces that you can pour on it has a little palette knife in case you want to you know mix or make lines or whatever it has two cups which i like these because these are actually the measuring cups so you can really know exactly how much you're mixing. It has some gloves. This is a drop cloth. Okay. So it has a couple canvas panels, a white and a black. Now I'm not super thrilled about these because canvas panels are not the greatest for um, acrylic pours, but we're gonna make them work. Okay, and then the last thing in this box, which actually took me a minute to figure out, <laughs> these are, they call it a canvas jack. So I believe they go like this and they can hold up your canvas while you're pouring. We're gonna go ahead and just do one of these for now. So I'm gonna get my space all set up and ready to go. All right, I've got everything set up here. I've got my jack underneath here. I've got one of my measuring cups. Now for a 12 by 12, I generally will use about nine ounces of paint, which is actually most of this cup. I might use a little bit less though because there are no sides to cover. So I'll probably go about eight ounces. And then I have picked out all my colors and I'm going with warm colors for this. So here we go. Now each of these bottles is two ounces. So I'm gonna kind of just pour slowly and I'm gonna put little amounts of each color in as I go. I'm using the white, this is neon pink. I think this is gonna be super fun color combination. So no blue or black, you guys. <laughs> this is the neon purple, one of my favorite colors of theirs. And then we're gonna go with, this is vermilion red. Oh, poured that a little faster than I wanted. And then I'm gonna use gold. So I'm going to layer these in here one more time. I'll go ahead and just speed this part up. Okay, got my cup full of paint. I'm ready. I did want to just show you guys really quick this little booklet. If you're brand new, this is helpful. If not, honestly, it's probably not all that helpful. But it just has some really basic steps for I don't even know if this would be a specific technique. It's almost a flip cup, but not quite. And then it has some of these like this. It says circle pouring technique, which is like a tree ring. It says the drop technique, which is like a puddle pour. So they kind of just gave their own names to things. But uh, definitely not, not bad if you're brand new to this. It's really helpful. So I've decided I'm going to kind of do a ribbon pour. For some reason, I really feel like ribbons recently. So I'm not going to go in any specific pattern, kind of just going to go all over here, have fun with it. I guess maybe kind of a series of figure eights. Pouring mostly in the center here so my paint doesn't run off before I'm ready. Now I've got that white that I put in there first. Let's get some sp splatters of that. There we go. And look how pretty my cup looks. <laughs> All right. Now we tilt. So just, uh, I, I mentioned earlier that I'm not super fond of these canvas panels. And I'll tell you the exact reason why is because they're not intended to hold this much moisture. Like they're great for just regular acrylic painting or you know anything that doesn't use a lot of moisture however when you're pouring that 
paint stays wet for a while, so it ends up being quite a bit of moisture in there. So the panels tend to warp. The great thing about the panels though is they're easy to frame. So it can make a great gift and even if it gets warped it won't really matter because you can frame it. And you can flatten them back out, it's just extra work. So one of the things I love about the Arteza colors is look how vibrant those are. They are beautiful, they really stand out. I'm gonna go ahead and let this sit for a little while and then I will bring you all in for a close-up. Okay, we're back. So I think this is awesome. The board isn't showing signs of warping, so it may not actually. The one thing I've noticed with premix paints too is they don't tend to cause uh, cells on their own, but you can absolutely add silicone if you want cells. I'm super happy with how this looks. Let's do our close-up. Okay, here is the lower right corner. Love these colors together. I do wish I had a dash of black in here though, because <laughs> black looks really good with that hot pink. But I'm very happy with these colors together. And I'm really feeling the ribbon technique recently. So super happy with this kit. I think it is an excellent investment especially if you're just starting out. Now I do have one more canvas left and a ton of paint. So I'll be doing another video coming up soon with this kit. And uh, be sure to check down in the description so that you can see the links for all of the materials that I use. And I will see you all next time.